So in this short illustration, we'll try and describe why patients can feel dizzy or faint when standing. Let's assume we have a circulating volume depicted in the blood circulating in red in and around your brain, your heart, which is pumping here, and the blood vessels in your gut, your lower limbs and your skin. Now, when we first stand up, we have a normal blood pressure and let's say this normal range is in green here. For example, this could be 120 over 80. But after a while on standing, what can happen is there is, with a gravitational pull, a slight drop in blood from the head or the brain and the heart down into the lower limbs. And in most patients, this results in a slight drop in blood pressure, which then is compensated by the body to restore normal blood pressure through a reaction. Now, if you are prone to fainting or if you are particularly dehydrated and have a susceptibility, for example, during hot weather, what can happen is that instead of the body self-correcting, your blood supply can continue to drain away from the head and the heart and fill particularly the lower limb blood vessels and the gut and at which point the blood pressure may drop slightly and these kind of readings may be at around 100 to 105 over 70. If unchecked, patients might get dizzy and the blood continues to fall into the lower limbs which continue to expand and the blood pressure is now dropping to below 100 over 70 and at the latter stage when enough blood has fallen and emptied from the brain and the heart into the lower limbs possibly also into the gut or splanchnic bed and the skin which is the largest organ also maximally vasodilate to take blood away from the core circulation of the heart and the brain here is when the blood pressure can reach a critically low point and if you don't sit down or lie down quickly, this may result in a complete faint. This is how one comes to have vasovagal syncope, the medical terminology for a drop in blood pressure and sometimes also a drop in heart rate, which leads to syncope.